Gold, gold watch for gold belt. It makes sense. The fit for a champ. Hey GQ, it's Leon Rocket Edwards here, UFC welterweight champion, and these are my essentials. It means the world to me, you know, it's a, a dream I've had since I was 16 years old when I first got into mixed martial arts. So to finally achieve the coming of UFC World Champion, it's a, a dream come true and I, I look to keep it for a very long time. So this is like the new UFC belt, you know, there's one before, but so when, when you win, you get like a, a red, a red ruby. So every time you win, you get like, like funnels, you got like collect the stones, you know, so you got to go, go around and collect, collect them all. But then that's, that's what I'm about to do and <laughs> retire it, you know, so. As far as the rematch goes, will we see you in London? Yeah, for sure. I think the rematch ha has to happen back home in, in, on my turf, you know. Um, I think London would be great. I think Dana White is saying it was a, a, like a, a stadium show, like 60,000 people. Like, that's a dream come true for me. So it's, it's going to be good to go back home, defend my belt and then go again. My next essential will be the headphones. What do you listen to when you're Hip-hop is a must and I was born in Jamaica, so reggae. That's like before fight, I was just like, like, like hardcore reggae, you know? And, but in training camp, it's normal like hip-hop for, it depends how I'm feeling, you know? Like on runs, a lot like slow, like slower music, even slow jams, <laughs> like reggae, like it's sizzler, like that kind of music, you know? Like anything that's like a, Give me time to think, you know. My, my walkout song is Dexter Daps, you know. Um, he's a Jamaican artist. That's one of my last two walkouts. Music and sports go go hands in, hand in hand, you know. And um, for me, like, hip hop is my hip hop, reggae, drill. I need that, that kind of vibe to get into like training, you know. Some days when you're tired, and that's the kind of vibe we need. I was born in, in Kingston, Jamaica. Immigrated to the UK when I was. 10, 9, 10 years old. So yeah, this is my like my roots, you know. I'll go back to Jamaica soon as I haven't been back for a while, so yeah, this is roots to me. Your history. From moving to, from Jamaica to the UK, he's like uh you speak Patois, you don't speak like English, you know, so you had a few fights in school, <laughs> like with kids making fun of you. But over time you got used to the lingo and the language. But I think because I came to the UK so young, my I learned I learned it fast, you know, I think Maybe if it came a little bit later, I would have still had like, like the, the still Pat were twang, you know. So my dad first brought me to the UK. But my dad like sadly got murdered in the UK, you know, at age 13. And well, it's what I call home now, you know. And there's a big um, um, Caribbean community in the UK, you know. Caribbean or African. It's a mixed culture, especially in my city where I'm from, in Birmingham, England. I think that's why I, I adapted so fast to it. I was like bring a pair of gloves with me, like even a traveling, you know, or like realistically, that's all you need to, to fight, you know. <laughs> These are the, the UFC gloves. They're different from like the boxing gloves, but fingers open so you can like grapple and wrestle and jiu jitsu. And so I think these are like my, my essentials before I was like, this is basically my work. You know, this is like my briefcase I bring to work. This is everything. The training camp is twice a day. You know, I train like morning, every day at 11 a.m. every morning and I'm back again at five o'clock every evening, you know, so that's my for 10 weeks. But I, I camp like now, um, I do like once a day. I train every morning and then I got the rest of the day to myself, you know. My neck essential is the Roly. GMT, Master 2. I've always been into watches, you know, like for my community anyway, that's like a, a trophy, you know, like that's, that's like success. And so it goes with everything. It's a nice gold watch. It goes with all black or just a t shirt, coat, whatever you wear. It's, it's good to have around, you know. So I think you look good, feel good, you fight good. I always say looking, looking clean. In, in the UK, we don't really like ice, like the rappers do, like the ice it out, but like, that, they, they appreciate the watch, right? So it's like it, it's clean and plain and nice. It's a grown men watch, you know, it's a. Yeah, it, for the fit for a champ. <laughs> gold watch for gold belt, it makes sense. This is what, what I grew up on. This is my Sunday dinner, you know, like, like on Sundays, we family cook and this is what, what my mom makes, you know. I've recently opened up a restaurant for my mom, a Jamaican restaurant, because she's such a good cook that she wanted to do. And this is like one of her main dishes, you know, so this is what I bring back to my, just family, you know, home. If I'm traveling, 
I can find like a nice Jamaican restaurant for sure. But at home, I'm definitely going back to my mom's house. How are your not good. I got like an air fryer that like I put up, I bang that air into the air fryer, you know. But in camp, I got like a nutritionist that makes my food for me and shit, so it's easier to do. But outside camp, everything's air fried. I don't know like the history of sneakers, but I just like the way they look, right? So I've got countless lows to highs to Yeezys, to everything, you know. Daily, like, I mean, honestly, it's more like a Crocs, you know, because I'm going to like the gym every day, so, but if not, it would be like, these, like, lows, lows goes with everything, like I said, like jeans, you know, a sweatsuit, a tracksuit, the lows or the, or the Yeezys, they're comfortable and they fit with, with anything, you know. What's the most money you ever spent on here, I bought the, the Off-White 97s in LA for, for $1,000, I think it was. That's not, not, that's Nikes, you know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> I wore them like once and I ruined them, so, uh, uh, yeah. My next essential will be my phone. I travel a lot for work, you know, so I'm always on FaceTime to my son or family back home, you know. Um, over the last two months, I've, I've spent like a week at home, you know, so I'm always on the road, so I think family first, for sure. For me, WhatsApp is one of my main apps for social media, like Instagram. I've got Twitter and everything else, but for Instagram and WhatsApp is like my definitely daily daily essentials, you know. As soon as I wake up, it's bad. As soon as I wake up in the morning, it's like straight onto your phone, you know, and then you get like a routine where I give myself like a little half an hour before, like I check my phone, you know, but get in contact with my family, my friends, with work. The week of the fight, I try to like stay off the phone, you know, I don't read the comments, so what's going to happen? I just like to focus on what I need to get done, you know, which is the fight, so. Yeah, I think fight week is probably the only time like uh, I got a, a, a little downtime on the phone, you know. Feel good, look good, you know. That's like the front little hat with a sweatsuit, with whatever, you know. Front was backwards, or <laughs> whatever, you know. But yeah, it's like I got a few pre-hats as well, so is it is. I like, I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm more like a like a, a snapback kind of guy, you know. I can, I can adjust it and. I've got, I got uh, quite a lot of pair. I got sent, I get, I get sent a lot of pair as well, you know. I get like hundred pair, but I wear like two of them like, on a daily, you know. But I was like to have it just in case, you know. Thank you for having me, GQ. It was fun. Peace out.